Welcome back. This is uh, Computer Science 0478, uh, pre-release material uh, paper 2, variant 2, uh, October-November session 2020. Uh, in this series of videos, I'm uh, going to uh, explain uh, some of the uh, might expected questions in the uh, external exam. Um, as you know that uh, questions, many of them are repeated uh, every year. And even if it's not repeated, that it's uh, nearly the same idea. So we might expect some uh, questions here uh, and practice with these questions to uh, be familiar with, with what's going to be in the exam. As you know that uh, paper two is uh, divided into two sections, section A and section B. And as you know that section A Okay, is uh, related to the pre-release material uh, and it's out of 20 marks. Section B here is the regular questions about uh, topics that you have uh, studied related to programming and algorithms and uh, it's out of 30 marks. So the total here is out of 50 for paper 2. Our concern in the, these series, the, this series of videos is for the section A, which is 20 marks. So let's have here some of the uh, previous papers. This is the uh, exam series, uh, uh, May, June 2020, paper 2-1. And this is problem solving and uh, programming. As you can see here, this is the pre-release material for this, for this session. And uh, this is section A, okay? And then after section A, which you have uh, already received the, the pre-release material, you will have some expected questions here. Like, for example, this is question one out of four marks, okay? And then question one, the part uh, two, also out of four marks, okay? And then you will have for, uh, question one, part C, also asking about task one. And then you will have here another question asking about task 3. So let's start here with some examples that uh, questions might uh, come for the uh, next session, October, November 2020. Okay, for example here, all variables, constants, and other identifiers must, be, must have meaningful names. As we agreed previously that the meaningful names here means that the variable should be represent, representing uh, the, the function behind this variable. So for example, if we have a variable uh, related to the cost, for example, the cost or the price, so the variable name must be must be price, for example, if it's uh, going to deal with the price. If the variable, for example, is related to an uh, age of a student, so the variable name might be age. So this is a, a variable with a meaningful name. So the first part here, I'm sure that everyone is uh, familiar with the, the meaningful names variables here. The first question here is asking to identify two, uh, two arrays you could have used in, uh, for task one and in each case state the purpose, okay? Identify two arrays that you have used in task one. You have here to recall that the, uh, what arrays that you have used in uh, task one and then you have to state you have to mention the name here and then the purpose of the of the array. So we might mention here for the first array that we have used, for example, one of the arrays here that we have used in task one. Is item item code array. Okay. Item code array with number of uh, elements here, which might be here an empty square bracket. Okay. So item code here as an array, and you might also give example to uh, to show that how confident you are with your answer. So here we will write array one item code array. So we just here might mention this, and purpose here is to store 
all item codes of the computer parts okay another array here might also the question might ask you to find another array name which also we have declared here as description array also uh, it contains the 17 the purpose here it contains the 17 description of the 17 items so we might say here description array this is the name and be careful it shouldn't have any space between between the name and the purpose here to store the description of the 17 items of the computer also one of the other expected questions let's complete uh, uh, question one part a uh, number two here Ident identify two variables that you uh, could have used for task one and each case each uh, case start sorry state its purpose also you might mention here one of the other variables that we have used in task one we have here uh, a variable name as computer price and the initialized value here is zero and then chosen item also another variable So here we might say chosen item. The purpose here is to store the user choice of items to input as input. Okay. Also, another variable here, which is the computer price. And this is a which has the uh, real data uh, data type. And here to store the uh, the price of uh, selected items and the basic basic set price. As you can see here, uh, this type of question is uh, very basic. It's asking you first to uh, state two arrays that you have uh, identified, two arrays that you have used, and what's the, what's the purpose here, and also uh, identify the uh, arrays that you have used in task one. Okay, uh, that's all for uh, this question. And later we will uh, later on we will uh, discuss many other expected expected questions thank you